the basic definition of visual literacy is the ability to read, write and create visual images. It is a concept that relates to art and design but it also has much wider applications. Our abilities to encounter, seek, interpret, use and create visual content is called visual literacy. The term visual literacy was defined in 1969 by John Davis, the founder of the International Visual Literacy Association as Visual literacy refers to a group of vision competencies a human being can develop by seeing and at the same time having and integrating other sensory experiences. The development of these competencies is fundamental to normal human learning. When developed, they enable a visually literate person to discriminate and interpret the visible actions, objects, symbols, natural or man-made that he encounters in his environment. Through the creative use of these competencies, he is able to communicate with others. Through the appreciative use of these competencies, he is able to comprehend and enjoy the masterworks of visual communication. Visual literacy is being aware of how we experience images, video and other forms of multimedia. Images must be evaluated in a similar way to written texts. Like text, images can be used accurately, deliberately, misleading or carelessly. Some images like texts can be interpreted in a different, sometimes contradictory ways. Visual literacy is not just restricted to art history and film studies. It is important for everyone. Maps can show geographical information much better than a verbal or textual description. Charts and graphs can clearly describe the growth or decline of population, financial performance of a company, etc. Cartoons can sum up a viewpoint or opinion. Developing visual literacy skills unlocks a way of learning about and understanding the world that cannot be replaced by any text. Cultivate the art of slow looking. When you examine the subject, foreground and background of an image separately, the nuances of the scene emerge. Try this exercise while looking at the image. Subject. What do you see in the middle ground? Foreground. What is in front of the subject? Background. What is behind the subject? The visual medium has a message. A photograph allows the viewer to observe an image from exactly the perspective of the photographer. But an installation allows the creator to construct an environment in which the viewer has a singular unique visual experience. A painting allows the viewer to experience many perspectives at once and share the painter's impression of the subject, while a sculpture engages with a changing physical environment. Each provides a way to engage with the subject matter that another medium could not. Exploring images in and out of the context, when you think you understand an image, ask yourself what contextual information might be missing. Context shapes our understanding and interpretation of all the visual material we encounter. Context for images can take many forms, including accompanying text, other images of the same subject, and even cultural knowledge of the audience. Color, like line, shape, texture, and the other elements of art and design, communicates meaning and create visually compelling experiences. Color is seemingly self-evident and uncomplicated. Yet, color theory and its depths have enraptured philosophers, artists, and scholars alike for centuries. Color has the power to stir up feelings that are both personal and shared. Color is perhaps the most accessible element of visual language. An artist combines repetition, balance, proportion, movement, and other design elements to form the whole of a visual composition. In visual language, a symbol can be any object, character, color, or even shape that recognizably represents an abstract concept. Try to read the image. Identify how are elements of art, line, form, color, etc. used. Describe how does the composition work as a whole. Connect how does what you see relate to what is known about the artwork, subject, creator, historical context, etc. Interpret. What might the work be expressing or communicating? How do you react to it? Observe. What is your overall understanding of the image? What is your initial reaction? Question. Consider why you reacted this way. What make you think that? Contextualize. 
do you see new details as you look more closely compare how is your understanding of the image different now visual literacy is multimodal it's multidisciplinary it's interdisciplinary and it's collaborative it's actually a universal language we need to train our visual capacity we need to train our ability to construct meaning from images we need a visual literacy curriculum if you enjoyed this video then please like and share this video and do subscribe to this channel